Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. There's no safe way through that mess. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Huh. Mm. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Huh. 
Huh. Are you sure you can't reach me? Listen, you're either gonna have to get a hell of a lot taller, or my arms are gonna have to get a hell of a lot longer. I get it. I'll keep looking. So much for the military. Hmm. Looks like it still works. It's completely flat. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No, it's not. I hope she doesn't snap. I might have saved our lives in that meat locker, you know? with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I hope not. She'll get there. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, shit! Okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could've... Ah! Do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Dirty as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go.
coming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every 
day! Now everybody get out! Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her, well, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. 